And most of all, it's a time for finding in the eyes of children the innocent wonder that makes Christmas shine. In the sparkle of the city, strung with shining red and green. In the star above the stable of the tiny manger scene. In the hearts of all the people who believe in what it means, Christmas shine. far deeper than tradition. To find it, we must follow our hearts back to that silent night in Bethlehem when ordinary people just like you and me could touch and see and worship the very presence of God's love incarnate. Joseph was just a simple laborer, an ordinary man. Like any one of us, he struggled every day with his own set of problems and doubts. What did he know of angels or miracles? And yet, in a very short time, he had come face to face with both. What did he know of being a father? And yet, here he was, holding in his strong arms the newborn Son of God. Well, little one, it's time to give you a name. I've been told that you're to be called Yeshua, Emmanuel, God with us. Do you like that name? Well, that's the name the angel gave you, and who am I to argue with an angel? It does seem like an awfully big name for such a small boy, though. God with us. I'm not sure what that means. All I know is what the angel said. The child in Mary is from the Holy Spirit. And that's you, little Yeshua. And I know that somehow or other, I'm supposed to be your father here on earth. <laughs> Don't worry. I, it won't be so bad. I'll do my best. I'll take care of you and love you and teach you everything I know. But somehow, I have the feeling that you'll teach me much more than I could ever teach you. And then later, when the time comes, I'll, I'll have to let you go. As I think you're here for something far greater than just to make me happy. In the meantime, though, 
I'm glad you picked me as your father, little Yeshua, whoever you are.